today we are at the certain point which is the ferry terminal so this is the ferry terminal where you can buy the tickets so today we'll be going to uh, Gaya Island which is uh, one of the closest islands in KK uh, three resorts in Gaya Island Raya, Gaya Island and Gayana so today we'll be going to uh, Bunga Raya Island uh, you can see the uh, jetty here at the uh, Desserton Point. Okay, we are at the Desserton Point. As yes, we came on the weekday, there are many people here today. Otherwise, it will be usually quite full. Here. Right, so here is the Guyana waiting area for the uh, ferry. We're still waiting for our ferry. Uh, we are early, about half an hour early. Heading towards the boat, the boat is ready for us. Right, so this is our boat for the day. Superior, I mean, in the resort, yeah. right? The only the only villas that are in the front line, and not on the beach. Some of them are here. Are the hibiscus all over the resort? Uh, like I said, we hold the Malaysia Book of Records Award. This is a lantern hibiscus, very oh. very unique. Okay. We do a nature walk in the morning, so if you wish to join us, look how beautiful that one. They're just amazing colors. Uh, you can like join our nature walk around the resort. Sharon, the one in between the stones, the big one. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So you will be able to see there's quite a few of them with different colors right now. I'll try to stop here. You see there's a lot of buds. Some are already dark because they've already died. Oh. And But they change color three times in one day. So if you look at the top one on the left, there's a white one. I don't know if you've heard about the Rose of Sharon. We just planted it not long ago. So we're still lucky it's already uh, actually had one, one flower blooming. This Rose of Sharon, the flower will bloom. Morning, it's white. Then it changes pink and then as it starts closing it goes to a dark pink again oh. and that's when it dies it's all that in one day the only rooms that are that you can see here all these rooms are two bedroom villas yeah there's only a few of them and they're, they're some, some are here and some are located at the top you may see this uh, during the morning we have some local buffaloes kerbaos oh. water, water buffaloes uh, oh by the way is it still there i, I always forget to show the guests this one known around here they make nice honey actually yeah. Yeah. but uh, yeah you see how cute it is we are in a in a, in the mangrove right so there's all the water the nature from the mangrove itself uh -huh. so you will see monitor lizards you will see maybe squirrels snakes uh -huh. that's normal that's part of the there's a big monitor lizard right now just there at the end they even swim around the pond sometimes go through here very very unique Villa is at the top, yeah, all right, at the top, yeah, most of, some of them may have a bit of a view between the trees, but like I said, we have not cut any tree for... Right, so we just arrived at our villa, and uh, we had to take a buggy to get to the villa, as uh, it's quite, it's quite a distance, and this villa here, 
as what I have been told is built surrounding the nature so no trees were cut during the building of this villa and there are 48 villas here all over the resort and uh, the one we'll be staying is uh, located right at the tip of the resort Okay, so look at the view. You can just see a little bit of the uh, sea there. exploring after this around the resort so I'll see you later it took us about five minutes buggy ride to the jetty and uh, if you have walked it will take about maybe 10 15 minutes it's quite a distance to walk and as you can see here the jetty Really peaceful here. There's no one at the jetty at the moment. However, it's raining, so we couldn't stay that long. Get some water. Alright, so this is the reception area where we first came here. And over this side, we have the restaurant. You can dine in and also here is where the place where you can take your buggy back to your villa. And this is the beautiful view of the island at Bunga Raya. Now we're heading to the wine cellar. You can see there's plenty of villas here. This is the uh, Planche Pool Villa. Located quite near to the beach. Just uh, maybe what 10 meters to the beach. The villas here are for families. They featured about Now this is the swimming pool area where you can swim and look at the ocean. Okay, we just finished checking out the resort and uh, we wanted to continue to explore but it started raining so we can't do much. We decided to come down for a little swim before it gets dark. It's a nice view of the ocean, the infinity pool. Alright guys, check this out. We were swimming and we saw some monkey business. Why are you running? Why are you running? Hello there. Okay, just finished swimming. Uh, probably tomorrow we check out the kayaking or better boarding. Alright, so we're walking back to our villa now instead of taking the buggy. So our villa will be somewhere here. It's quite steep actually. If you can't really walk that far, then we recommend taking the buggy. But since we wanted to explore, we just decided to walk back. A few moments later. 
So about 15 minutes of walking, finally reach a villa. It's right there. Ta -da. Oh, it's the rain already. And now we go back to the villa. Right, good morning. Just woke up and uh, just getting ready for breakfast before we be uh, trying out the uh, paddleboard and uh, hopefully it's doing some snorkeling if time permits so just check out this view look at that nice view of the sea right from our villa Right, right now we're going for breakfast. This a uh, bit of a morning walk. Right, so this is a pool where we were last night, and this is the uh, spa area. If you want to go for a massage, you can do it here. And okay, this is the police beach. There's two areas of snorkeling over this side and the other side. And the best place if you want to go for snorkeling, if you want to see the coral, to be over that side. This is a map of the Tengku Abdul Rahman Park. And as you can see, we are over here. Just reach the lobby area with the nice breakfast. Right, check out our breakfast. Got some bread, some fruits, coffee. Wow. Good. Delicious. So we do. Right, let's dig in. Right, we just had our breakfast. It was quite delicious. And now we are heading towards the water sports center. Right, and this side you can see a little bit of the mangrove of the island. Right, and this is the water sports area where you can pick up the kayak or paddleboard or pick up the snorkeling equipment here okay. right, so now we are going for better body hopefully we don't fall off alright so Vera's going first See how she goes. Yeah, come on. Yes. Hey. Yes. That's pretty good.